Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we will try to solve another exercise that is exercise 48A. That is very important and very easy chapter. So let's start. Number one. Number one says 6.4 divided by 2. First one is by using the fraction. So what is 6.4? 6.4 actually represents 64 by 10 divided by 2. Then we can write 64 divided by 10 multiplied by 1 by 2. So 64 divided by 2, that should be 32. So we can write 32 by 10. 32 by 10 actually represents 3.2. So there is another way, just normal division, 6.4 divided by 2, that is 3 to just 6. So we have to uh, put down 4 here. So 2 to just 4. So we have to put a point, then we have to write 2 to just 4. Then the remainder will be 0. So answer should be 3.2. So we can solve any of these two different ways. Now, number two. Number two says 7.2 divided by 3. So if we divide 7.2 by 3, we can write 3 to the 6. So 1 will be the remainder here. And we have to uh, put down 2 here. We have to put a point and 3, 4, 0, 12. So here answer should be 2.4. So number two is 2.4. Now, number three. Number three says... 7.2 divided by 0 0.3. So we can solve this one by using fraction. 7.2 actually represents 72 divided by 10. Divided by 0 0.3 represents 3 divided by 10. Now we can write 72 by 10 multiplied by 10 divided by 3. So we can call 10 and 10 and 72 divided by 3 should be 24. So here our answer should be 24. This is a very easy problem. And another way is that if we write 7.2 divided by 0 0.3, if we want to move this point to one digit on right side, that means at numerator, if we want to move, that means we have to also move at denominator. So we can write 72 by 3. And 72 divided by 3, that is 24. This one is very easy way to solve this problem. Now, number four. Number four says, 4.6 divided by 23. So 4.6 actually represents 46 by 10 divided by 23. If we want to find out the division of a fraction, then we can convert this division sign into multiplication sign and do the reciprocal of 23, that is 1 by 23. So if we divide 46 by 23, that will be 2. So we can write 2 by 10 and 2 by 10 should be 0 0.2. How? 2 divided by 10. So we cannot divide this 2 by 10. That's why we have to put a point. This point represents a 0. And 2, 10, 20. So 2 by 10 actually represents 0 0.2. That is very easy way to solve this problem. Now, number 5. Number 5 says 51 divided by 5. So if we want to divide 51 by 5, we can write 5, 1, 5. So we have, so 1 will be there. So one cannot be divisible by five. That's why we have to put a zero and a point. This point represents a zero. So five to jump, 10. So 51 divided by five should be 10.2. Now number six. Number six is 0 0.77 divided by 0 0.7. So we can solve it in this way. 0 0.77 actually represents 77 by 100. That means actually after point, there is two digit, that's why we have to divide it by 100. And now 0 0.7. After point, there is one digit, so we have to divide it by 10. So 77 by 100 multiplied by 10 by 7. So we can divide 100 by 10, that should be 10. And 77 by 7, that should be 11. So 11 divided by 10 should be 1.1. That is very easy way. Number seven. Number seven says 550 five, divided by 0 0.11. So 550, we can change this 0 0.11 into fraction in this way. Uh, 0 0.11 actually represents 11 divided by 100. So now we can convert this division sign into multiplication sign. And uh, we can convert this one into reciprocal format. So it should be 100 divided by 11. So 550 five, divided by 11 should be 50. And 50 multiplied by 100 should be 5,000. Now number 8. Number 8 says 45 divided by 0 0.9. So 45 divided by 
we can write 0 0.9 in this way. 0 0.9 should be 9 by 10. Now, 45 multiplied by 10 by 9. So we can cut 45 by 9, and that should be 5. So 5 multiplied by 10, so answer should be 50. Now, number 9. Number 9 says 4.5 divided by 0 0.9. So 4.5 actually represents 45 by 10 divided by 0 0.9 represents 9 by 10. So 45 divided by 10, we have to convert the addition sign into multiplication sign and doing the reciprocal of 9 by 10 should be 10 by 9. So we can plot 10 and 10, 45 divided by 9, that is 5. So here our answer should be 5. Now, number 10. Number 10 says 5.5 divided by 0 0.11. So 5.5 actually represents 55 by 10 divided by 0 0.11 represents 11 divided by 100. So 55 divided by 10 multiplied by 100 divided by 11. So 100 divided by 10, that should be 10. 55 divided by 11, that should be 5. So at last, we can write 5 multiplied by 10, that is 15. Now, number 11. Number 11 says 2.25 divided by 0 0.15. 2.25 actually represents 2 to 5 by 100. Divided by 0 0.15 actually represents 15 divided by 100. Now, 2 to 5 divided by 100 multiplied by 100 divided by 15. So we can cut 100 and 100 and 2 to 5 divided by 15. So if you want to divide 2 to 5 by 15, we get 15. So here our final answer should be 15. Now number 12. Number 12 says 1.728 divided by 0 0.144. So how can you solve this problem? 1.728 represents 1728 divided by 1000. Divided by 0 0.144 represents 144 by 1000. So 1728 divided by 1000 multiplied by 1000 divided by 144. Now we have to divide. We can divide 1000 by 1000 and now if we want to divide 1728 and 144 by 4, what will we get? We will get 4 for the 16, 1 will be remainder, so 12, 4 to the 12, and 4 to the 8. And here, if we divide, we will get 4 to the 12, so 2 will be left, 24, so 4 to the 24. Again, we can divide it by 6, 6, 6 is 36, and here, if we want to divide, we can say it should be 6, 7, 42, 1 will be left, 12, 6, 2, 12. Now, if we divide 72 by 6, then we'll get 6, 12, 72. So here our final answer should be 12. Number 13. 13 says 1.196 divided by 2.3. So 1.196 actually represents 1196 divided by 1000. And here is a division sign and 2.3 represents 23 by 10. So 1196 divided by 1000 multiplied by 10 divided by 23. So if we divide 1000 by 10, we'll get 100 here. And if we divide 1196 by 23, we'll get 52. Now our answer is 52 divided by 100. So if you want to convert this fraction into the small number, then we'll get 0 0.52. Very simple. Now 14. 14 says 0 0.918 divided by 0 0.34. So how can you solve this problem? First, we have to convert the decimal into fraction. So it should be 918 divided by 1000 divided by 0 0.34 means actually 34 divided by 100. Now, 918 divided by 1000 multiplied by 100 by 34. So now we have to divide. We can divide 1000 by 100. We'll get 10 here. And 918 and 34, we can divide this both number by another simple number. Suppose we can divide it by 2, then we'll get 17 to the 34. Here, we'll get 4 to the 8, 1 will be left, 11, so 5 to the 10, 
and 18, so 9 to the 18. Now, if we want to divide this one by uh, 4, 5, 9, and 17 by 17, we get 17 to the 34, so 11 will be there, 119, then 17, 7 to 119. So here our final answer should be 27 by 10. It should be 2.7. Now 15. 15 says 29.718 divided by 38.1. So 29.718 actually we can write 29718 divided by 1000 divided by 381 by 10. Now we have to divide. So 29718 divided by 1000. Here we have to convert these division sign into multiplication sign and doing the reciprocal of next fraction that is 10 by 381. So now if we divide, we'll get 1000 divided by 10, that should be 100. 29718 divided by 381, then it should be 78. So here our final answer should be 0 0.78. Now, number 16, number 16 says three divided by eight. So we have to divide three by eight. We cannot divide this three by eight. That's why we have to put a point. This point represents a zero. So three, eight, 24. So we have remainder that is six. Now we have to put a zero extra here. That is eight, seven, 56. Now we have to find out the remainder that is four, so 40. So 8, 5, 40. So here our final answer should be 0.375. Now 17. 17 says 51 divided by 40. 51 divided by 40. So now we have to divide 51 by 40. So you know 41, 40. So remainder is 11 here. So we have to put a point. This point represents a 0, 42, 80. So remainder is 30. Again, we can put a zero here. Then we can write 7, 40, 280. So remainder is 20. So we can put extra zero and it should be 5, 40, 200. So here our finance should be 1.275. Now number 18. Number 18 says 5 divided by 16. So if we want to divide 5 by 16, so how do we divide? We can put a point, this point represents a zero. And 16, 3, 48, so we have remainder that is two. Now we can put a zero here. So 16, 1, just 16. So what is the remainder here? Four, so we can put a zero. 16, 2, 32. So what is the remainder here? Eight, so 80. 16, 5, 80. So here, our final answer should be 0.3125. 